Hello and welcome to the session on coordinate geometry. This is brought to you by Anda Kafanda. Let us look at a few basic ideas of coordinate geometry. First of all, we need to understand that the entire space in the 2D plane, let's say this is a plane that I am talking about, can be divided into four quadrants. This is done with the help of the two axes, that is the x-axis and the y-axis. It is divided into four quadrants. In the first quadrant, both the x and the y coordinate are positive. In the second, as you can see, since it is on the left hand side of the origin, that is represented by 0, 0, x coordinate is negative, but it is above the x-axis, so the y coordinate is positive. In the third quadrant, it is on the left hand side and it is below, so both are negative. In the fourth quadrant, it is on the right hand side. That means the value of x of any point here will be positive. However, it will be below the line. That is why it will be negative. Suppose we are given a random point P, X1, Y1 and we want to find out its distance from the origin. The distance OT, if I am dropping a perpendicular from P to the X axis, OT is the horizontal distance of point P, that is X1. The vertical distance, that is PT, that is nothing else but the Y coordinate or Y1. OP or the distance from the origin is the hypotenuse of the triangle OPT. Base is x1, height is y1. The length of the hypotenuse will be square root of x1 square plus y1 square. Very similarly, if I am given two points, P and Q, I have tried to draw a straight line, but whatever, the straight line distance between the two points, P and Q, will be given by this formula. How do we get this? The height of Q from the x-axis, that is S, is by 2. But if I remove y1 from it, I will get the value of QR as y2 minus y1. Very similarly, the horizontal distance of point Q from the y-axis is x2. But if I remove the part x1, I can get TS as x2 minus x1 or PR as x2 minus x1. The distance between the two points PQ, that is nothing else but the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle PQR, where the base PR is x2 minus x1, the height QR is y2 minus, y2 minus y1, so the hypotenuse will be base square plus height square, height square or x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. If I am given, to, let's look at another case. If I am given two points A and B, x1 and y1, and a point C divides the line AB internally in the ratio of m is to n, then can I find out the coordinates of point C? Yes, I can. That will be given by m x2 plus n x1. Please remember it should always be crossed. Once again, m x2 plus n x1 divided by m plus n. The y coordinate very similarly will be m y2 plus n y1 divided by m plus n. So if point C was the midpoint, then what would have happened? The ratio of m and n would have been 1 is to 1. So in that case, what would have I got? I would have got x2 plus x1 by 1 plus 1, that is x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 plus y1 by 2. We all know that division of a line segment can either be internal but it can also be external as you can see here. The line segment AB is externally divided by point C in the ratio of m is to n. So how can I find out the coordinates of point C? It will be very similar to the section formula that we just discussed. The only difference will be there will be a negative sign where in the previous case it was a positive sign. So that will be changed to a negative sign. It will still be cross starting from A. So it will be mx2 minus nx1 divided by m minus n. And it would be my2 once again cross minus ny1 divided by m minus n. Let us look at the funda of a line in case of coordinate geometry. Say, this is the line which is given to me. It passes from h, k. So, how many lines will pass from h, k? There will be infinite many lines that will pass from h, k. But I am considering just one of them. This line makes an angle theta with the positive direction of the x-axis. This line and any line parallel to it will make an angle of theta with the positive direction of the x-axis. But there is only one line which passes through h, k and makes theta with the x-axis and that is the line that we have considered. Slope of the line is the tan of the angle 
that the line makes with the x axis or m is tan theta there is something called the intercept also the point where the line cuts the x axis is known as the x intercept the point where the line cuts the y axis is known as the y intercept so x intercept in this case is plus 3 y intercept is minus 5 it is negative because it is below the origin the general equation of a line since it is linear it is of degree 1 it is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 now let us look at a few things suppose if a is equal to 0 what does that mean that means my equation has become by plus c is equal to 0 or it does not have an x component that will mean the line will be parallel to the x-axis. What if b is equal to 0? That means my line will be ax plus c is equal to 0 or x is a particular constant. Which will mean it is parallel to the y-axis. What if c is equal to 0? If c is equal to 0, then my line is of the format of ax plus by is equal to 0. That means it has to pass from the origin. Think about it. If my line is ax plus by is equal to 0 and I put x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. What will I get? This will become 0, this will become 0, and this will be equal to 0 once again. The equation of the x axis will be y is equal to 0 and the equation of the y axis will be x is equal to 0. To look at the line, there are a few other ways also. Suppose I am given the slope of the line and a point that it passes through. Say the slope is m and the point is x1, y1. That will be a unique line because I know two things about it. The slope and the point. The equation of the line will be given by y minus y1, which is the y coordinate of the point, is equal to m or the slope times x minus x1, where x1 is the x coordinate of the point. If I am given two points x1, y1 and x2, y2, then also they will have a unique line which connects them. The equation of that line will be given by y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 times x minus x1. What is the slope of this line? Look at, compare these two lines carefully. You will realize that the slope of this line is nothing else but the portion which I have circled. That is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. If I am given the two intercepts, say the x intercept is a and the y intercept is b. Then the equation of the line is given by x by a plus y by b equal to 1. So if I get back to the case here where I was given that the slope of the line the intercept of the line, x intercept of the line is 3 and the y intercept of the line is minus 5. The equation of the line would have been x by 3 minus y by 5 is equal to 1. Another popular format is slope and the y intercept format. That is, I am given the slope of the line as m and the y intercept as c. In that case, the equation of the line is given by y is equal to mx plus c. Please stay tuned at Handaka Funda to continue the discussion on coordinate geometry. Thank you.